Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I finally received my Tinkerboard in the mail. This is made by Asus. I know some people call them Asus or whatever you want to call them, but I'm in the United States and I've always known them as Asus. So this is the Asus Tinkerboard. It has a rock chip quad core CPU at 1.8 gigahertz, two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, gigabit ethernet, 40 GPIO pins, they say it's compatible with most Raspberry Pi cases, and I'm going to put that to the test in some later videos. Does 4K video decoding, H.264, and I'm pretty sure that's only at 30 FPS right now. One of the cool things about this, it does support Gigabit Ethernet, like I said, but it is not shared with the USB bus. On the Raspberry Pi 3, we have 10 by 100 Ethernet, but it's also shared with the USB bus. So if you're using USB storage device, it's taking some of that bandwidth also. Let's go ahead and flip the box over and I'll be going over the specs more in depth in a second when we get it out of here. So the packaging is very professional. I'm actually surprised because I have at least 16 single board computers and this is the best packaged computer I have got. Quad core, 1.8 gigahertz, two gigabytes of RAM, 4K decode, HD audio, high compatibility, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, gigabit ethernet, clear board recognition. Not sure what that's about, but we're gonna find out. So in this video, what I wanna do is just install the one operating system that's available right now. It's Tinker OS. I just wanna go over, see how fast it is online, do some YouTube playback. We'll run a few JavaScript benchmarks online. And then in later videos, I'm gonna to try to install RetroArch and get this thing playing some awesome retro games. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box and see what it comes with. So we have the board here. Comes with a heat sink. And from what I have heard, it's going to need the heat sink. You also get a manual. And it does go over the specs, the GPIO header, all that good stuff. So this does support UHS-1 SD card. So we can get some pretty good read and write speeds out of those cards. And I definitely have a few over here. I've heard that the Raspberry Pi is limited to about 25 megabytes. And you'll never really see that in real world performance out of your SD card. But these newer cards coming out are getting super fast. Well, I don't need scissors for this one. Very nice looking board. All right, guys, so this board looks really nice. It's looking promising so far. Hopefully, it has good support in the future. Right now, there's only one OS available, like I said. It's the Tinker OS, but there's a lot we can do with that operating system. Let's kind of go over the ports on the board here. We have an MIPI connector, micro USB power in, HDMI 1.4, CSI connector, 3.5 millimeter audio jack out, gigabit ethernet, four USB 2.0 ports, GPIO pins that are compatible with Raspberry Pi hats. And the heart of this board is the Rockchip RK3288 quad core 1.8 gigahertz CPU. The GPU is a Mali T764. We have two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. So we do have the heat sink here and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Just peel your backing off of there. Make sure it's lined up. And that should do it. All right, so now I have some other single board computers. I just want to compare the size of them. Here's a Raspberry Pi 2. They are exactly the same size. Everything is in the same spot. Asus claims that the Tinkerboard will fit in some or most Raspberry Pi cases. Very cool that we have the same form factor here. Here we have the Pine 64, which is not a good board in my opinion. I've tested a lot of stuff. It's just very, very slow. And it's really due to the Mali MP400 GPU that it has built in. Very slow system. 
we have the orange pie one, the banana pie M3, the Odroid C2, and the Odroid XU4. So it's a great form factor for a single board computer. Raspberry Pi is like the perfect form factor. If you want to go smaller, go with a Pi Zero or something, but you're going to lose a lot of power doing that. Here's the Orange Pi 1. Very small board, but it's not as powerful as the Raspberry Pi 3, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and get this board booted up. I already have an SD card ready to go. It's a SanDisk Class 10 32 gigabyte, already flashed with the Tinker OS. Let's see how this thing performs. Okay guys, so here it is, Tinker OS. I spent six hours trying to get RetroArch and some other stuff installed. I had to reflash the card three different times. There is no support for the Tinker board right now. Asus, Asus, whatever you want to call them, just isn't doing anything with it. Now the operating system here does work well, but when trying to install different packages, I keep getting unmet dependencies. When I try to install those unmet dependencies, it tells me that they're already installed. So something's going on in this operating system here. I have contacted a few people that I know, and hopefully in the near future, we're going to get a fix for this or a totally different operating system because this is kind of ridiculous. Now, this is what it looks like when you boot it up for the first time. We're going to go down here. It's based on Debian. We got a calculator, image viewer, leaf pad, Vim, X archiver, internet. At least it has Chromium. LX Music Simple Music Player, Pulse Audio, System Tools, File Manager, HTOP, LX Terminal, Task Manager. There's not much here, guys. Wi Fi does work good. I have it connected through Ethernet, I just find it easier for me. Bluetooth also works. And I'm just going to go through a YouTube test because I haven't even tested it yet. But for now, there's really not much you can do. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can do. But for me and my audience, we kind of want to run retro games on here. So I had GIMP installed. It worked great. Um... Like I said, something messed up in the operating system and I had to reinstall it. Sounds working. So right now what I'm gonna do is see if I can up this. Settings, it's at 480. Might as well go to 1080, 60 FPS, see if it plays. So this rock chip paired with the Mali GPU is a, actually a really good combo, but until we get some support, there's not much we can do here. Now I'm pretty sure Asus locked down this operating system here. Something's not right. I have been able to install RetroArch on single board computers nobody's ever heard of before. There's something going on in the OS and I can't figure it out. I spent six hours. 1080p playback is stuttering from YouTube. We'll go to 720. This board does have the potential to be a very nice candidate for retro emulation and a lot of other things that you want to mess around with, like Cody and stuff like that. There's nothing going on right now, and to tell you the truth, I would save your money. You can buy two Pi 3s. That's pretty much it for this video. 720p, stuttering, and I have very fast internet. It is not due to my internet, and if I let this buffer, it is buffered. Give it a second here. Yeah, there's... So I'm pretty disappointed here. Now I did run a Sun Spider and it scored way better than the Raspberry Pi 3. With the Raspberry Pi 3, I score anywhere from 2800 to 3800. I'm gonna run it real quick for you. And all this is, is it's an older 
online JavaScript benchmark, and I've run it on every device I've ever owned. We're going to start it now. There's way better ways to benchmark these boards than synthetic benchmarks, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to run this. I've already spent a lot of time with it, and I'm actually really, really frustrated. So I got to step back, take a break today on this board. Hopefully, I'll get back to it this week get a little help on the forums, and maybe come back with something good. Lower is better, 754 milliseconds. It's actually really good, and it does have a lot to do with the Chromium web browser. Chromium is way faster than the Mozilla when it comes to JavaScript, but... But either way, not yet, guys. It's just, it's not ready. I don't even know if they really released this board properly yet. Um, they took down the Cody image because it really sucked. This image is actually okay if we could get some more support. That's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.